going to prep my skin with Olay Fresh Effects BB Cream and I am in the color Fair to Light and I'm just going to rub that all over my face like lotion and then I'm going to use this Sonia Kashuk Primer Base in the Perfecting Brightening Primer and again I'm just going to apply it like lotion all over my face and the foundation that I'm going to wear today is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3 in 1 and I am in the color Classic Ivory I'm just going to work that into my skin with a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and I'm just going to buff it into the skin in small sections. Now I'm going to go in with my under eye concealer and I use CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Eye Concealer and this one is in the color Light. And I just dot it underneath my eyes and then blend it in with my ring finger. And that's going to be it for the face and now we can move on to the eyes. And I'm using my Sonia Kashuk Extreme Wear Eye Base and I'm going to apply it with a pointed concealer brush all over the entire lid and up to the brow bone. And you don't really need a large amount of this. And then I'm just going to blend it in with my ring finger. want to make sure everything's nice and smooth. And now I'm using the Sonia Kashuk Monochrome Eye Quad in Textured Mauve. And I'm taking the semi matte color. And I'm going to place that into the outer half of my eyelid and into the crease. And I'm using a Sonia Kashuk Multi Purpose Brush for this. It's really soft and applies a small amount of color. And then you just want to build up the intensity to what you want it to look like. So I did about two applications to get this intensity. And now I'm going to go in with the matte color or the matte texture and place that only on the outer half of my lids and slightly into the crease. You really want to blend those two colors very well. And the same thing, you don't want to go all the way in with this color, just stay on the outer half. And now I'm just taking a clean blending brush to blend out all the shadows on the top to make it nice and smoky. You don't want to see any lines. So this just helps blend out the colors very well. Now with a flat eyeshadow brush, this one is from Sonia Kashuk, I'm going to take the shimmer shade and I'm going to place that on my lids, on the inner half and slightly over the matte shades just to blend them but I don't want to cover them up. So you want to focus the eyeshadow mainly on the inner part of your eyes. So go in about halfway and then stop. You can skip this part if you don't like glitter, but I like to wear glitter. So I'm just going to take a flat shader brush and apply the glitter all over the lids and into the crease. I want most of the glitter to be on the lids and the slight shimmer on the crease area. I like to just pat it on and then blend it out. And now I'm using a small eyeshadow brush to place the semi matte texture on the lower lash line and I'm going to bring it all the way in. And you just want to slowly build up the intensity to what you're comfortable with and blend it out. And now I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in light brown. 
and I like to fill in my eyebrows and I usually do the bottom half first and then I'll do the top half and then I will create the shape that I like and then fill it in and for eyeliner I'm using the L'Oreal infallible eyeliner and the Sonia Kashuk tools number 27 and I like to create the wing first and then I bring that wing down the tail I want to make a triangle and then fill it in and then I will fill in the rest of my eyeliner and you should get a really nice cat eye every time when you do this trick and now I'm just gonna carve out my brows I'm using the sheer coverage concealer and a MAC 19 4 or 194 brush and I'm just going to carve out my brows this is just gonna make everything look really clean and nice so I just do that on the bottom part of my brows you can do it on the top part top part of your brows if you like to and then I'm just going to use a Real Techniques brush to blend it out, make it look really nice and smooth. And now I'm just going to curl my lashes. Here I'm using my Sonia Kashuk eyelash curler. And now I'm just going to apply a generous amount of mascara to the top and bottom lashes. And here I'm using my CoverGirl Outlast Clump Crusher Mascara in Very Black. And now I'm going to add my favorite lashes at the moment. These are from Eyelor and they're the lengthening number 116s. And I'm just going to apply them with some tweezers and I'm going to drop them down to the center of my eye. And then I'm going to tuck in the corners. I really like these lashes because the band is very flexible, it's not very stiff so it makes it a lot easier to apply them. And now I'm using the Sonia Kashuk Brightening Powder and I'm just going to place this on my under eye area just to brighten up this area. And then I'm just going to take my Sonia Kashuk Press Powder and translucent light and I'm going to apply that all over the face with a large powder brush and now I'm going to use my Sonia Kashuk bronzer and goddess and then I'm just going to place this in the hollows of my cheeks and on my hairline And this is a MAC 187 brush. This is just going to give my face some dimension. And I'm also going to take some of this bronzer and put it on my jawline. And you can even bring this down onto your neck. And for blush, I'm using Sonia Kashuk Blush and Flushed. And I'm just going to apply that on the apples of my cheeks and then slowly blend it out towards the temples. But I want most of the color to be on the apples of the cheeks. For lips, I'm using Sonia Kashuk's Shine Luxe Sheer Lip Color in the color Sheer Plum. And I'm just going to dab that onto my lips. I want a nice soft application. And then I'm going to take my Pixie Highlight and I'm going to place that in the usual spots above my cheeks, down the bridge of my nose, and a little bit on the Cupid's bow. And now I'm going to go back in with my eyeliner just to cover up the band of my lashes. So you don't see any white peeking through. And this is the completed look. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next tutorial. Thank you.